KUSI presents the All CIF Fall Award Show. Here's your host for this evening, KUSI Sports Director Paul Rudy. Good evening and welcome to the second year annual All CIF Fall Award Show. What you are witnessing tonight is the growing partnership between the CIF, KUSI TV, and of course the Hall of Champions. Welcome, everybody. Right. Now, earlier tonight, the Hall of Champions, Steve Brand, along with the CIF Commissioner, San Diego Section Commissioner Jerry Schneep, were handing out all CIF certificates to athletes in all six fall sports cross country, field hockey, football, yeah, of course, lacrosse, volleyball, and water polo. Now, in the next 30 minutes, we will introduce you to the first team selections in five of those sports. All the sports except football. That's because when the clock strikes 9 p.m. tonight, the focus will switch exclusively to pigskin and the 15th annual Silver Pigskin Gala. You'll meet the first team all CIF selections in football as we build to the big announcement, the winner of the prestigious Silver Pigskin. The crowd is already filing in for what has become the most exclusive party in Southern California. All right, what do you say we get things started? Here's Jake Fadden. Take it away, Jake. We start with a foursome from the four-time defending state champion, Tory Pines Falcons. First to tee it up is Muni He, the freshman winning the Southern Regional individual title with a birdie on the first playoff hole. Joining her is teammate Christina Park, the sophomore racking up 18 match wins on the season while maintaining a 4.2 GPA. The third lady Falcon is Jennifer Peng, the senior finishing tied for second individually at the state championships. She will continue her career in the Ivy League at Yale. And you can't forget the section's individual champion, Sarah Cho, the Northwestern bound senior leading Tory Pines to their fifth straight section team title. Making her second appearance on the first team is San Pasquale sophomore Haley Moore, the Lady Eagle firing a course record 64 at Admiral Baker in the opening round of the section championships. From modern day is sophomore Jessica Mangrobang, the Mesa League Player of the Year, meddling in 13 of her 14 league matches this season. Representing Carlsbad is Alana Uriel, the Lady Lancer finishing her high school career as a three-time state regional qualifier. From La Jolla High School is junior Daniela Anastasi, the Lady Vikings standout finishing fourth at the section championships while getting it done in the classroom with a 4.0 GPA. Earning her third straight spot on the first team is Mission Vista's Michelle Pika, the straight-A student carting her low round of the season with an impressive 6-under 66 at the North County Conference Tournament. And the final member of the first team is Del Norte's Nastasia Kasaki. She also showcases her skills as a member of the Polish national golf team. Those golfers in the house tonight. I'm joined now by the Golfer of the Year, Tory Pine Senior Sarah Cho. Sarah, first of all, congratulations. Thank you. Now, you accomplished a pretty rare feat this season, mm -hmm. finishing your high school career as a member of four straight state championship teams. Talk about that amazing run. Um, it's just really great because most of the teammates have been on the same team for four years. So, I mean, we just have like a really great time and just that time to share you know, because we're going to go off to college next year, and so just that, you know, have more time together is really fun. Now, besides just the obvious talent at Torrey Pines, mm. what makes that program and that team so special? Um, I think it's just because everybody is really hardworking. They, you know, kind of want to beat each other, but also, you know, maintain that friendship. But mostly, we have a little bit of competition with each other. So, yeah. Well, thank you, Sarah. Congratulations once again. Good luck in the thank future. You. And Paul, send it back to you. All right, Jake. Thank you very much. Now, later on in the Silver Pigskin Gala, Stephanie Kelly will be introducing our, our Silver Pigskin finals from the East County, Grossmont's Anthony Lawrence. But right now, the Rattler has field hockey duty. Please, let's meet the first teamers. We start at Scripps Ranch, the D1 champions with two first team honorees. First up is Kelsey De Jesus. 
the center midfielder a three-year starter, and the quarterback of the Lady Falcon squad. Joining Kelsey is teammate Emily Jewell, the center defender boasting five goal saves on the season. A Coastal Falcon also getting the first team nod. Torrey Pines midfielder Allie Zimmer making her mark with 15 goals and 15 assists. A pair of Conquistadors getting recognition for their play. Center midfielder Kate Young putting up 20 goals and 21 assists. Teammate Tatiana Nelson following suit with 13 goals and 10 assists of her own. And San Pasquale continuing a tradition of excellence. Mara Gutierrez leading the section with 28 goals and 9 assists for a total of 65 points. Teammate and Avocado East Player of the Year Ashley Walker Watson equally as impressive with 15 goals and 14 assists. A first team duo from the D2 champ Canyon Crest. Gabby DiPietro, a four-year varsity starter, scoring 27 goals this season. And fellow Raven Katie Carlson scoring 34 goals. Next up, RBV's team captain Kelly Kramer. Kramer's 20 assists leading the Avocado West and earning her the league's player of the year title. Rounding out the first team, Fallbrook's Maddie Ashbrook. Ashbrook with 15 goals and nine assists for the Warriors. All right, let's hear it for all of the girls field hockey first team honorees. And I'm joined here on stage with player of the year, Gabby DiPietro. Gabby, congratulations on the honor. How Thank exciting. You. Now, you actually started out as a soccer player. So tell me how you got into field hockey and what that transition was like for you. Well, I decided to try out for field hockey in middle school after a family friend suggested um, that I give it a shot since it was similar to soccer. Um, so I tried out for our team and I just fell in love with the sport and have been playing ever since. And obviously it was a good move for you. You were a varsity starter for all four years and this year the Ravens took home the D2 championship. What was that like closing out your prep career as a champion? Um, winning CIFs was so special for us. We had come up short for the past two years and we just wanted to make it the third time a charm. And um, we just followed our motto that we had all season, which was make it happen. And we went out there, um, especially for our nine seniors who are graduating, and we just played for ourselves and left it all out on the field. Well, you certainly made it happen this year. Congratulations to you. Thank Best you. of luck at Cornell na next year. Paul, back to you. All right, Stephanie, thank you very much. Everybody, we are going to take our first time out. When we come back, Mike Milburn will introduce us to the first team selections in boys cross country, and Allie Wagner will have the first team selections in girls cross country. That sets up tonight's trivia question. We are asking, who's the only coach to win a CIF championship in both boys basketball and girls golf? We'll have the answer when we come back. CIF show brought to you by Mission Federal Credit Union. This is Marissa and Nathan's Mission Fed moment. This is their first date, so he rented the paddle boards and she rented the bikes thanks to great rates on their Mission Fed auto loans. All San Diegans are welcome. Mission Federal Credit Union. Your success is our bottom line. Toyota's Black Friday savings event is going on now. Get Black Friday bonus cash on top of the best deals of the year. Like zero APR for 60 months plus $1,000 bonus cash on a 2014 Camry. That's no interest for five years plus an extra thousand bonus cash. And get our Toyota Care no cost maintenance plan. Toyota's Black Friday savings event ends Cyber Monday. Toyota, let's go places. Tonight at 10, former Mayor Bob Filner's legal problems continue, but is San Diego going to get stuck with a bill? Plus, a freeway set to expand the new improvements that could be coming to your neighborhood. Tonight on the KUSI News at 10. All right, be before we went to break, we asked who's the only coach to win a CIF championship in both girls golf and boys basketball? And the answer is Tory Pines, Coach John Olive of Tory Pines. He won them both. Coach, congratulations. All right. The crowd for the 15th annual Silver Pigskin Gala continues to file in. The season ending Pigskin Party set to kick off with the clock strikes 9 p.m. You can watch it all right here on KUSI. Welcome back to the All CIF Fall Award Show. When it comes to endurance, 
This next group of athletes are in a league of their own. Please welcome Matt Gilson and the all CF first team selections in boys cross country. Lace up your racing flats and break out the short shorts. Our trek begins with La Costa Canyon's Stephen Fahey. The Stanford-bound senior defended his title in the D2 section finals to earn all CIF honors for the third year in a row. Derek Morton took home three wins this year and anchored a deep Mount Carmel squad. Garrett DeLong placed seventh at the D2 section finals, and teammate Marcus Montalvo finished one spot ahead in sixth place as the Sun Devils ran away with the team title. Orange Glen's Andrew Tulanes joins the all CIF squad for the second time. The Patriots senior claimed the Valley League title and took second place at the D2 state meet. Tyler Hansen also earns a second straight All-CIF spot. The San Marcos Knight won three races this year, including the Avocado East Championship. Carlsbad's Cody Drisco placed third at the D1 section finals and paced the Lancers to second place in the team standings. From Rancho Buena Vista, Kyle Adams hustled the second place in the D1 section finals, one of six top ten finishes for the Longhorn senior. Westview junior Trevor Siniscalchi earned seven top five finishes on the year, including fourth place at the D2 section finals. Finally, Torrey Pines senior Tall Brody ended the season with a scorching finishing kick. The Palomar League champ cruised to first place in the D1 section finals and turned on the Jets to take the crown in the state finals. Congratulations to the boys all CIF first team. The boys runner of the year, Tory Pines Tall Brody, couldn't be with us tonight. We caught up with Tall earlier to discuss his year, including beating one of the top runners in the country at the state championship. It was just me and him until about half a mile to go, and then I just, you know, gave it all. And I had just enough to finish and get first, a second ahead of second place. Nice. So it was really close, but definitely one of the highlights of the season. Is there a part of the race? Is there the end when you finally get done? What, what's, what's the most awesome moment for you being out there on the course? It would probably be the finish. You know, you're coming down, you're giving everything you've got, the crowd's like roaring, you can't even hear them because it's just so much. Yeah. And you're giving literally everything you got, so like my back is hurting, my arms are hurting, <laughs> muscles I don't even know I have are hurting. Yeah. I'm the runner that just wants to keep doing better. You know, I've got my goals for the season, my goals for the year, my goals for the future. And then hopefully the Olympics is in my future, but that's way out there. Tall is still considering a number of different colleges for, to continue his running career, including several Ivy League schools. Now let's head over to the girls' side of the course, and for that, here's Allie Wagner. We start girls cross country with a trifecta from LCC. Senior Emma Abrahamson, the defending player of the year, finished first at section finals and 12th at state. She is currently ranked sixth in California. Her sister Sarah Abrahamson makes her first appearance on the list. The sophomore finished fifth at the section finals. Joining them is sophomore Riley Prohaska. In her first season racing, she finished fourth at the section finals and 32nd at state. Next on the list, a pair of Ravens, senior Ann Charles. Ann had five first place finishes this year year, including at the section finals. She also finished fifth at state. Joining her is teammate Kelly Byrne. Kelly finished second at the section finals behind her teammate. Her season highlighted by first and second place finishes this season as a sophomore. Also making the list is Vista senior Ashley Cope. The four-year varsity runner finished first at the section finals, becoming the first Panther girl to do so since 1986. Next, Westview junior Krista Kloa. She capped a solid season with a fourth place finish at the Palomar League finals and sixth at section finals. Natalia La Spada making the list for the Tories. The junior finishing first in all but two races this season. She became Country Day's best all-time finisher at state with a third place finish. Joining them, San Pasquale's Angela Ortley. Angela won seven of the ten races she competed in this season. The junior finished second at the section finals. Also making the list, Rancher Bernardo senior Katie Sammer. The four-year varsity runner finishing second at the section final and 19th at state. Finally, Poway senior Sophie Smith. Sophie finished third at the section finals and 14th at state. Congratulations to all of the girls cross country CIF first team. Now I am joined by runner of the year Emma Abrahamson from LCC. Congratulations, Emma. Thank you. Now, this is your second year of, in a row being named the all CIF player. Boy, how hard is that to stay on top? It's a lot of pressure. Um, just coming into the season, I knew that I had a big target on my back. And um, it's hard to stay mentally positive when you know that a lot of people are 
cheering for you and they're, they're expecting you to come out on the top again. But I think my teammates have uh, really helped me and we've trained together and they've given me a lot of confidence. So, yeah. Now you've decided that you're going to go to Vanderbilt and run there. What was it that stuck out about their program? The campus is really pretty and the girls are all so nice and I felt like I could fit in with the team really well. Oh boy. Well, the best of luck to you over at Vanderbilt. I'm going to send it back to you, Paul. All right, Allie. Thank you very much. Folks, we are going to take another time out, but as the crowd continues to file in for the Silver Pigs and Gala, we want to make sure you're back for your TV timeout. For Check out Bo Fertig's All CIF Tennis re re Recap, and Tommy Morris has the boys' water polo team. But as we go to break, we have another trivia question for you. Which three-time Girls Tennis Player of the Year reached the Wimbledon semifinals in 1999? We'll have the answer when the All CIF Show returns. I know, you know, the crazy thing about getting guys getting recruited is they get calls like all hours of the day. You know, I, I, I mean, does that happen to you? Uh, just a little bit. Slow me. Oh, can I? Can I yeah, yeah, go ahead. Hello? Hey, coach, how's it going? I'm uh, kind of at an awards uh, ceremony right now. This is Marissa and Nathan's Mission Fed Moment. This is their first date, so he rented the paddle boards and she rented the bikes, thanks to great rates on their Mission Fed auto loans. All San Diegans are welcome. Mission Federal Credit Union. Your success is our bottom line. Would you look at this? That's the U-verse. She's recording four shows at the same time. In our day, if mom was recording shows, there was no DVR to save your bacon. Exactly. Miss an episode of Scooby-Doo? Suddenly he's got a cousin. Where did he come from? You have no idea. The narrative is completely thrown off. The show just doesn't make sense. No, it does not. Get UVerse TV for $19 a month for two years with qualifying bundles. Rethink possible. It's the Rug Expo Million Dollar Storewide Sale. Over 10,000 rugs drastically reduced for the holidays. Save up to 70% on all rugs in stock. Hurry in for the best selection. The Million Dollar Sale happening now at Rug Expo on Miramar Road in the Pyramid. Welcome back to the All CIF Show. Alexander Stevenson, the question answer there. As you can tell, we're talking tennis. Here's Bo Fertek. Let's take a look at this year's tennis first team inductees. Vincent Memorials and Mexicali born Graciela Rosas never lost a Valley game in 2013. She's the only foreign player on the first team. Senior Knight Kelly Schaefer left a legacy at Bishops of what it takes to succeed on and off the court, taking her talents to UC LA. As the first team's only freshman, Tori's Paulina Ferrari led La Jolla Country Day to its fourth consecutive D3 title. Student athlete and team captain Isabel Lee led by her hard work and passion for the game. Not only can La Jolla's Emily Koo do it on the court reaching the quarters, but the 4.67 GPA places her among the best overall tennis players in the nation. LCC junior Nicole Yermanos has a ferocious forehand, propelling the Mavericks to their first section title in school history. Tory Pines captain Kelsey Chen was the glue to the Falcons' 24th consecutive D1 title. She was also 2013 singles runner-up. La Jolla's Taylor Moorhart and Colleen Mellinger ended a decade-long drought of Vikings reaching the tennis finals. Rancho Bernardo's Carissa Bernhardt and Ashley Chow were the first in school history to win back-to-back -back school championships in doubles. Ramona Jr. Jessica Fela didn't lose one set on her run to becoming singles tennis champion. She is the third in her family to win the section singles title. And give those lovely ladies from tennis a round of applause. I am here with player of the year Jessica Fela. Jessica, you are the third in your family to win the section singles title. A family of champions, you can say. On a box of champions, a box of Wheaties, what would a picture of you and your family look like? Well, we definitely all be playing tennis. I will be hitting my backhand on the line, because that's my favorite shot. And my parents would be there just encouraging me and cheering me on. Um, the first tournament that they entered me in was really tough, and they wanted me to lose and not play, so they never really forced me to play, and it was just a really positive experience. At age 13, a serious shoulder surgery almost kept you out. Well, actually did keep you out for a while. Talk about overcoming those obstacles and enduring those struggles. 
forming you into the person you are today? Yeah, it was definitely the toughest time of my life seeing other girls move up in the rankings when I really wanted to be the one playing out there so bad. But um, I really got my priorities straight. And now that I am back playing, I just take every point and really make it count. And I'm just so thankful to be out doing my best. Paul Rudy, this young lady, mature beyond her age. We're going to send this one back to you from the B State. All right, thank you very much. Folks, this fall, the All Say Out Show is sponsored in part by the Mission Federal Credit Union. Mission Federal also in the business of honoring ac exceptional ac academic excellence. Like Francis Parker tennis player Olivia Gauche, the Lancer Jr. now holds the title Mission Federal Credit Union CIF San Diego Section Fall Student Athlete of the Season. That's all because she, she has a GPA of 4.8. Go selected from a group of 50 athletes in San Diego section fall sports with a cumulative GPA of 4.4. Olivia joins me now. A uh, round of applause for Olivia, please. I have a dollar in my hand. If you could recite back to me the title you now hold. Yeah, I'll give it a try. Okay. Uh, Mission Federal Credit Union CIF San Diego section fall student athlete of the season. Very good, young lady. All right, let's we, talk, how much time do you spend studying? Tell us, tell us about your study habits. What, what does it take to have a 4.8 GPA? Um, I, set, I think I set really high standards for myself and I'm not really happy with myself unless I meet them and that sort of gives me my drive to do well in school and athletics. So. Well, congratulations on the honor and uh, we, we look forward to seeing how you do in college later on, okay? Thank you. Everybody, Olivia Gosch. <laughs> right now, here's Tommy Morris. Andrew Chun, Bishops. The goalie had 310 saves this season and is the only non-senior to get first-team All-CAF honors. Richard Daly, Bishops. The Knights co-captain led the team in goals with 89. Tommy Higginson, the other captain for Bishops, led the team in exclusion strong with 56 and field blocks with 21. Sang in La Jolla, Cole Martinez. His father was an All-American and is his assistant coach. He makes the first team after making the second team last season. Kevin Jaffa, Carlsbad, the Lancers' only returning starter helped bring them to their 12th straight section finals game. Owen Azalone, Carlsbad, the Lancer was instrumental in their championship run, scoring a hat-trick in the Division I CAF championship game. Austin Roan, Cathedral, the lefty scored the game-time goal with three minutes left in regulation to send the CAF championship game into overtime. Jordan Kalina Cathedral. Second time as an all San Diego selection, he held the Dons and modern day Santa Ana's 105 game winning streak. Bryce Hoerman Cathedral. Hoerman also makes the team for the second year in a row. And just like Kalina, he is a member of the USA Youth National Team along with Cody Smith. As his coach Brett Ormsby said, he's the full package, a pure shooter who can score from both left and right side. He's also a great student with a 4.0 GPA. All right, let's hear it for the boys' water polo first team. And now I'd like to introduce everyone, player of the year, Cody Smith from Cathedral. Cody, how's it going? I'm good, how are you? Good, all right, let's get into the questions. Let's review your season real quick, okay? You ended Modern Day's 105-game winning streak. You guys won CIF, and you have four first-team LCF guys on your team. How, how does that, how was that this year? Um, it was really exciting. I mean, we clearly had a great team this year, and we have worked hard for four years for this year. So it was really exciting to go out and do what we wanted to do this year. And you, you've narrowed your college choices down a little bit. It's either going to be Princeton or Stanford. Your brother, not far away in college, to Stanford. you got some family in Philly, not far away from Princeton. And Jordan, one of your teammates, is going to go to Princeton. How are you going to narrow that down? Um, I think I'm going to choose based on where academics and sports fit best. Because Princeton is a little more academics, less sports, whereas Stanford is more sports, less academics. So it really comes down to which one I want to focus on. Okay, great. That was Cody Smith. Paul, back to you. Tommy, thank you very much. Don't forget, we'll introduce the all CIF football selections coming up on the Silver Pigskin Gala. But right now, enjoy another trivia question. Tri-City Christian's McKenna Hollingsworth set a new CIF record with over 1,600 career kills. Who held the previous mark? We'll have the answer when the all CIF show returns. This NFL game break is brought to you by McDonald's, where the McRib sandwich is back for a limited time. Tender McRib is back. You wanna? Let's go. 
Right now, buy a McRib Extra Value Meal and get another McRib sandwich for just a dollar more. This is Marissa and Nathan's Mission Fed Moment. This is their first date, so he rented the paddle boards and she rented the bikes, thanks to great rates on their Mission Fed auto loans. All San Diegans are welcome. Mission Federal Credit Union. Your success is our bottom line. Tomorrow on Good Morning San Diego, we will introduce you to this year's winner of the KUSI Silver Pigskin Award. And from toys of Christmas past to what the kids want now, see just how much toys have changed over the decades tomorrow on Good Morning San Diego. Football Sunday. Time for some football. Great iron time. This is brought to you by McDonald's, where the McRib sandwich is back for a limited time. McRib is back. Tender, juicy, real pork smothered in barbecue sauce. You want it? Let's go. Hey, welcome back to the All CIF Fall Award Show. We have one more sport to go. Here's former Westview High and Texas Longhorn star Chelsea Klein with Girls Volleyball. Let's start the 2013 Girls Volleyball All CIF team with Jolie Rasmussen. Last year's only freshman makes volleyball for the second consecutive year, finishing with 461 kills. The three-year letterman Brianna Winbigler saved one of her best for last in the Division I CIF title game with a game-high 20 kills. McKenna Hollingsworth finishes one of the most historic volleyball careers in section history with a record 1,000 654 kills. Emily Krogman will have double duty at Mercer University where she'll play indoor and beach volleyball. The USC bound All American Brittany Abercrombie wraps up a record setting three year career with 1,075 kills and 113 solo blocks. Scripps Ranch's Leo Seriani led her team to their first Western League title in a dozen seasons. Six foot one outside hitter Rayanne Grison led Bishops to their first CIF title since 2008 and will play volleyball at Cal Poly next year. Our only defensive specialist on the team, Sarah Benjamin, finished with 322 digs and next year will play at Stanford. Michaela Dews makes the team for a second time. The Harvard bound senior had the game winning kill to clinch a second straight state championship. Savannah Rennie traded in her cleats to focus solely on volleyball and hasn't looked back. The junior has committed to Cal. And her teammate Riley Bushler will leave Tori Pines as one of the all time greats, having won three CIF titles and will look to bring her winning pedigree to UCLA. And I'm joined by Tori Pines, Riley Bushler. Riley, it feels like we're deja vu all over again. Honestly, it's amazing. This is your back-to-back -back player of the year. Mm -hmm. How does that feel? It feels unbelievable. I mean, doing it once is hard enough, and then doing it twice is just even harder, I think. Having an amazing team both years, and especially this year as me being a senior, it's just a truly like special, I don't know, award. I'm very proud. Now, your main prep rival is LCC's Brittany Abercrombie. Right. That will continue next year as she goes on to play at USC and you're going to UCLA. Right. But next week, you two are playing in the All-American game together. Mm -hmm. And is it hard to be teammates with somebody you want to beat so badly? <laughs> no, I think it kind of just depends. I mean, we've played um, on rival teams, rival um, clubs. Now we're playing, I'm playing at UCLA and she'll be playing at USC. It's going to definitely be a different dynamic, but it's going to be fun. I haven't really got to meet her or see like what her personality is like. So it's going to be like a really fun and joyful um, experience, I think. Well, congratulations again, thank Riley. You very and much. Uh, Paul, back to you. All right, Chelsea, thank you very much. <laughs> Folks, how about a round of applause for all the athletes we're honored here tonight? On behalf of CIF Commissioner Jerry Schneef and the Hall of Champions Steve Brand, thanks for watching the All CIF Fall Award Show. Don't go anywhere. The Silver Pixie Gala starts in just a couple minutes.